welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i achieved this beautiful pink glittery wing liner look so if you want to see all the deets and the teats as to what i use then sit tight and stay there and i'll show you exactly what i did and guys if you like the video then please comment down below like this video above subscribe and click that notification bell so you can never miss another bit i don't want to hold you dolls any longer so let's get into this lay. <laughs> So as you can see, I've already done my brows off camera and now I'm going in with the P. Louise base and number three to just prep my lids for shadow. I'm just adding a generous amount to my lids and then I proceed to just blending it onto my lids as you can see from this clip. And as you can see, I'm also blending it into the brow bone area and this just helps to give a very smooth finishing before I proceed to apply my transition shades. I'm now going in with this pink shade from the Electric Obsession palette from Huda Beauty and I'm just going to be using that as my transition shade and I'm going to be packing on multiple layers and then blending it into the creasing and then upwards onto my brow bone area and then I'll be going in with a red shade from the same palette to just add some intensification to this pink shade that is already applied to my lids. And as you can see when I'm blending in the shadow I'm doing a rubbing motion and I'm bringing it back and forth and this just helps to make sure that the colour is diffused evenly on my lids and the transition shade is looking flawless. So here I'm now going in with this burgundy shade and I'm just applying that just on the pink shadow that I've just applied and this just helps to give me a deeper pink shade which was what I was going for for this look and I'm just doing the same thing putting on multiple layers and then blending it into the crease and also upwards to diffuse the color evenly on my lids. Now I'll be using the number one base from P. Louise to cut my crease and you want to be very defined when you're doing this so you want to use a small flat angled brush and you want to just bring that cut into the natural creasing of your eyes as this helps you to achieve the best results and you want to make sure that it's completely dried before you apply any colors because this defines how you look turns out in the end. I'm now going in with the shade Pretty Face and I'll be applying that to the inner part of the cut crease area. It won't be showing on camera because once I cut my crease I realized that the color of this eyeshadow and the pink that was already on my lids already gave me that peachy color effect so you won't be seeing any results from this color unfortunately i didn't even see the point of why i applied this color but yeah i'm just packing on multiple layers as i always do with any cut crease look to make sure that the color is very pigmented on my lids I'm now going back in with this pink shade that I use as the first transition shade and I'm just packing that on in the mid part of my lids and just blending that in with the peachy coral shade that I've added earlier and this just helps to give a very defined transitioning between both shades and just give a very even blend between them both and as you can see 
I'm just packing on multiple layers, no blending required. I'm just packing on as many layers as I can until it's very intensified and pigmented. And then I'll be applying the purple shade from this same palette. Just going in with this plum shade and I'm just applying that to the outer part of the cut crease area and blending it in with the pink shade as I always do with all the colors I apply in my cut crease area. So now that I'm happy with the pigmentation of this purple shade, I'm going to be going back in with the same burgundy shade and applying that right at the end of the cut crease, at the outer parts I'll say, of the cut crease and this will top off the shadows for this look and then we're going to be adding a liner and some glitter to the peachy coral shade because as I said it wasn't showing at all so I just applied some glitter which is also not showing on this camera but the glitters are stunning trust me very beautiful eye look I really enjoyed doing it and I hope you're enjoying this video so far So here I'm giving you a close-up of the eyelids and this is how the look turned out the glitter still wasn't showing well but yes guys now I'm going in to the natural creasing of my eye with this black liquid liner and I'm just going to be making a wing on my eye connecting the bottom liner to the top and that will just top off the look I'll just go in with some glitter just above the liner and that's the look guys and yes I'm adding some to my water lash line as well don't forget because that helps to make this look pop okay I'm going to be applying my lashes and this will top off the eye look the other eye I'll do off camera so you'll see me come back with everything snatched okay So now I'm going to be priming my face with the Revolution Primer and I'm just adding a generous amount and massaging this into my face to make sure when I add this foundation it's rested seamlessly. As you can see I'm using the foundation in Spice Run from Too Faced as you can see from all my previous videos actually and I'm just going to be blending this into my skin by doing a patting and a slightly rubbing motion until it's very smooth and rested onto my skin And you want to make sure that you're blending your foundation into your skin as much as possible until your hands start hurting okay because this will define how the contour and the highlight turns out when we're ready to proceed to that so make sure the foundation which is the basis of the makeup is done very beautifully because this is the key to um, achieving I'd say a perfect makeup so here I'm just showing you how it is and I'm really feeling this eye look guys but let me know what you think I'm not applying my concealer and this is the shade butterscotch from Too Faced and I'm just adding a light highlight today I didn't want to go for anything too dramatic and yes I'm now using a damp beauty blender to just blend this into the skin until it's smooth and applying it to the sides of my nose because there is where we'll bake and that will define how well our nose contour comes out and yes you know I like when my nose is snatched so you want to make sure that you also 
highlight the sides of your nose. So as you can see guys, this is well blended and you can see how smoothly it is on my skin. Now I'm going to be going in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'll be applying a light amount and blending that onto my skin until it's smooth. And when I say skin, I mean literally just the places that we just highlight as we're going to be baking today. So just a small amount just to know the area in which we're going to bake and then we'll be proceeding to adding on a thicker amount of the powder to bake these areas and make my under eyes and my face well elevated. I'm now going to be adding a light contour and I'm using my pressed powder in dark cocoa from LA Girl and I'm just applying a slight contour to my jawline area, my forehead and I'm going to be applying it down at my lower jaw as well and you know at my nose to give a slight contour and then we'll proceed to baking my face. So now I'm applying the Sasha Buttercup again and this time I'm not blending it into the skin I'm just applying a thick amount onto the areas in which we had the lighter concealer as we'll say highlight and we'll just leave that for about a minute or so and then we'll dust away and bluff in as well some of the powders that's on my skin and also bluffing it with the contour to make sure that my face is snatched when we finish okay so now i'm defining those jawline area and as you can see the contour looks popping like look at that you can see my jawline looks snatched okay now that i've left it for around two minutes i'm just dusting away the excess powder and also bluffing some of it into the contour to make sure that it's not too dark okay and this is realistically how the face turned out we're going to be applying our blush and my highlighter and that will top off the look i'm now setting my face as you can see with the fixed bad setting spray from revolution and just dabbing some of the excess um the remaining sorry liquids onto the powders and the concealers and everything that we've added and this just helps to make sure that your face is well smooth when you finish okay and i'm just applying a small amount of blush and we'll be highlighting the face and that will realistically top off the look like look at that nose my nose looks so tiny but yes guys this is the look i hope you like it let me know what you think in the comment section below because this highlight is giving me a vibe look at that glow very beautiful but yes guys this is the look for my lip combo as the video proceeds you'll see what i did to achieve the beautiful lip combo that i was loving by the way For lips, I'm applying a brown lipstick and this is a matte lipstick and I'm just applying that as my lip liner as you can see and yeah, I'm just going to apply that to the bottom and the top part of my lip and make sure that my cupid's bow are out and showing like look at that, 
you can see my cupid's bow standing now already but yes i'm just going to be applying that and blending my lips together and then we're going to go in with a peach colored matte lipstick from Huda beauty and that will realistically top off this beautiful look for today like look at that lip combo i'm so feeling it. i'll definitely be doing this lip combo again in a future video because i was feeling this lip very beautiful and stunning thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in my next slay okay so guys this is the finished slay and as you can see i'm really feeling it because i even put my little crown on yes guys i love how this eyeshadow look came out it is popping and complimenting this bob wig so much i'm feeling this look and i hope you feel it too but let me know what you think about this look in the comment section if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down and please guys subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you can never miss another weekly beat like this video above and also share it with your friends and your family to spread the love thank you guys for the continuous support i really do appreciate it and thank you for keep coming back to my channel and keep watching my content i'm really appreciative of that thank you for watching and i'll see you in next week's lay peace love bye